Hey friends, Mac Austin here, and today I want to show you my BTNC hardware store saw. I just got it in the mail today. I uh, haven't done any cutting with it. This is what it looks like. It's a little guy. Came in this awesome box that I have to show you. It's uh, very much a 50s vibe, complete with 50s advertising. Like, uh, it's a saw, it's a protractor, a dovetail gauge, it's a square, it's a precision measuring marvel. Um, that stuff's neat, but I want to see how it cuts. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put it up against uh, the best saws that I have and see what it can do. Because uh, even though it's small, it's smaller um, than my smallest handsaw, um, but it's got uh, cross-cut teeth on it, it's got ripped teeth on it, it's got these deep gullets for ejecting uh, sawdust from the cut. It's supposed to be able to cut really well. So. Um, here's what we're going to do to test it. I've got a piece of quarter sawn white oak and a piece of white pine. And in each of those, so we have a hardwood and a softwood, in each of those uh, I'm going to do a rip cut with the BTNC and a rip cut with my uh, Distin D8. This is a 26 inch um, rip saw. It's five and a half points per inch. Then I'm going to do a cross cut with the BT and C and a cross cut with my D7. This is a 26 inch cross cut saw with uh, 8 points per inch. And then uh, as an added bonus, I've got this piece of cherry and I've got a tenon laid out on it. I've already um, cut the tenon shoulders actually with a small uh, cross cut back saw. Uh, but I'm going to cut one cheek with the BT and C and I'm going to cut one cheek with a Lee Nielsen 16 inch tenon saw, 11 points per inch. Let's get right into it. Okay, so 
that was the test. If we look at what we got out of it um, in the white oak, I would say in terms of the quality of the cut, the rip cut quality is actually better with the BTNC than with the distin. Um, that distin though, it's five and a half points per inch. It, it is sort of a rough cut. Uh, and obviously the BTNC was much, much slower. Uh, in terms of cross cut, I would say the, uh, the cuts were comparable. Uh, and I felt like the BTNC really moved quite quickly in the cross cut. Uh, in terms of the white pine, I'd say the same thing in terms of rip. I'd say the quality of the BTNC cut is actually a little finer than, than the distin. And actually the cross cut is probably a little bit rougher. Uh, and then in terms of the tenon cheeks, it didn't perform, the BTNC didn't perform as well as the, the Lee Nielsen tenon saw. Uh, the quality of the cut's not nearly as good. But also it was much harder to control the BTNC. That's absolutely to be expected. Uh, it doesn't have a back on it to keep the blade rigid, so it was a little bit harder to control. But certainly in a pinch, uh, I could cut tenons with that. So what's the verdict? Um, I'm really impressed with this little saw. I think it's great. Uh, I put it up against my big 26 inch saws. Those are top flight saws, and I thought that it really held its own. It was certainly slower, which you would expect. It's a much smaller saw. Uh, but the cut quality was comparable, if not better. Um, and even though it was slower, it didn't feel uh, particularly slow when I was doing it. So, um, you know, this is really like the ultimate toolbox saw, especially given how small it is. I can fit this in my toolbox easily. I can't fit those 26 inch saws in there. Uh, I'd be happy to rip with this, happy to cross cut with it and cut 10 inch cheeks uh, in a pinch if you need to. It was a really great saw. Uh, made in the USA. Uh, it's not a throwaway saw, throwaway blade. It can be uh, resharpened. Um, it, it's top quality. I think it's a really great little saw. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you thought. Uh, and if any of you have one, uh, let me know how it's working out for you. Thanks.